Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu friends welcome back to my channel in this session we will discuss KA3511 it is intelligent PWM controller it is used in computer power supplies it consists of supervisor function and it is a fixed frequency oscillator its frequency can be programmed by this RTCT pins when it is programmed it will provide the same frequency but it will change its pulse width modulation so this IC is working in PWM technique it is not changing frequency to adjust the voltage to regulate the voltage this IC is in two package dip IC it is in 22 pins that is KA3511 and KA3511 DS or BS that is 24 pin there is nothing difference in 24 pin IC pin number 12 and pin number 13 are not connected so pin number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and here pin number 11 last PG pin here is last PG pin power good signal and then we will skip two numbers 11 12 13 14 and last one 22 here the same pin number 11 and last two pins are spare not used the same V reference is here 3.3 volt detector 5 volt 12 volt protection pin under voltage protection time ground dead time control C2 E and C1 so it is used to drive push pull topology it has PWM control and housekeeping circuitry VCC supply is applied here at VCC pin when the startup circuit will detect the charging voltage at VCC capacitor at that time it will start its V reference circuit V reference circuit is 5 volt when the startup time will complete the capacitor will charge it will turn on internal bias circuit and V reference and it will provide 5 volt reference at output pin that is pin number 14 in this IC it is pin number 14 and in 22 pin IC it will pin number 12 so it will provide 5 volt the same 5 volt will provide it to the dead time control when RTCT is connected timing resistor timing capacitor is connected at that time the oscillator will start oscillating when this IC will receive PS on command that is normally when we ground the green pin so that time this pin goes low when this pin goes low it will turn on this comparator so this comparator will drive the next circuit flip-flop circuit and it will activate dead time control and it will activate the output circuit this is 1.4 volt internal biasing to the power on command that means if the voltage will above 1.4 volt it will turn off when the voltage will drop less than 1.4 volt at that time this circuit will active so if the IC is not turning on we must verify pin number 6 that is remote on command or PS on command it must be 0 volt or less than 1.4 volt pin number 5 that is TREM remote on command time delay when we apply power on command PS on command from pin number 6 that time pin number 5 will be monitored for the capacitor normally 0.1 microfarad capacitor is provided here so this capacitor will organize the time from 8 millisecond to 24 millisecond turn on time when we will when this pin is low after 8 to 24 millisecond the circuit will turn on this delay delay controller for the remote power on after that it will start monitoring V3.3, V5, V12, PT, these pins. So in this portion we have under voltage, over voltage protection pins that is V3.3, V3 V5, V12 and PT pin. It is 3.3 volt detector, the output pin that is the processor voltage 3.3 volt. If this pin will remain around 3.3 volt that is good. If it will drop less than 2.3 volt at that time this low voltage comparator will activate and it will turn off the system 
if the voltage will go above 4.1 volt at that time this comparator will active and it will turn off the power supply so in both cases it have to monitor the voltage then we have 5 volt comparator that is pin number 16 pin number 16 is 5 volt I am discussing KA3511BS or DS that is 24 pin IC so V5 it is 4.6 volt under voltage the upper voltage 6.4 volts if the voltage will remain in this window this IC will remain active for 12 volt over voltage 4.2 volt and under voltage that is 10 volts this over voltage protection have an extra pin that is PT this is special function pin it is over voltage protection we can monitor any one pin by using voltage divider network if this pin will go above 1.2 volt at that time this IC will say that there is short circuit so most of the time this pin is enabled when this pin is enabled the IC will remain off if any pin will go below from these levels this comparator will activate if any pin will go above then these voltage 4.1, 6.4 and 14.2 volt for these three pins this IC will turn off the second problem sometimes there is load imbalancing for example the supply is working good any one pin becomes low due to short circuit for example 3.3 volt it is dropped it have a short circuit it have a bad capacitor it have a bad rectifier at that time that pin will decrease than this volt when it will decrease the same time the other pin will increase because to compensate the load effect at this pin this IC will increase its duty cycle when it will increase its duty cycle the other two pins will increase because this pin is low when this is low these two will go automatically up so this IC will go in protection mode at that time the protection pin will also enabled here we have ground pin that is pin number 20 pin number 19 that is under voltage protection turn normally 2.2 microfarad capacitor is connected at this pin at 22 pin it will provide 250 millisecond to turn off the power supply if any pin goes low below this voltage level at that time this IC will take 250 millisecond to turn off the power supply if the power supply is immediately turning off we have to monitor this capacitor here we have TPG time power good signal normally 2.2 microfarad capacitor is connected at this pin it will provide 250 millisecond time for power good signal so this signal when the 5 volt are provided here 5 volt are good at that time after 250 millisecond because it will start charging when detect pin will activate this is detect pin VCC pin VCC voltage will receive VCC voltage are from 14 to 30 volt so when it will receive voltage at that time the detect pin will automatically because it is connected through a voltage divider network so this comparator will turn on at that time from V reference this capacitor will start charging when it will reach at 1.8 volt at that time it will provide 250 millisecond time and it will give power good signal PG signal from here to operate the computer the same time when the capacitor will activate it will provide 1.8 volt that are the biasing reference here to this comparator internal reference at that time it will activate this internal transistor and this signal will provide it at pin number 11 that is PG signal so processor will start up here is dead time control so dead time control these two components are also working to control the dead time dead time comparator is here it is a flip-flop so it will provide that time gap switching gap between two channels these two then there is error amplifier it is internally biased with 1.2 volt 
So pin number 2 and pin number 3 are compensation pin, a resistor and a capacitor is connected here to give external feedback for regulation and pin number 4 that is the input pin. This error amplifier is biased with 1.25 volt internal so maximum allowable voltage at this pin are 1.25 volt. V5 and V12 are connected here through this voltage divider network and there is a variable resistor to adjust the output voltage. So this summing point voltage will provide it to the error amplifier so it will adjust PWM controller circuit. It will receive the oscillation at that time the dead time control will also integrate in this OR gate so it will switch the output circuits. So this is the total working phenomena of this IC. Under voltage, over voltage, regulation circuit, timing circuit. So we can adjust its frequency as per our requirement. In the data sheet it is not mentioned how much there is a frequency. It can be programmed up to 400 kilohertz. Let's see the data sheet. It says PWM controller and housekeeping circuitry. Few external components. You can see there are very little components connected to the outside. Some capacitors and some resistors. It has a dual output of push-pull operation. So push-pull operation output that is here. It have output transistor for 200 milli ampere sync current. So these transistor can drive up to 200 milli ampere. Soft start circuit and dead time control, double pulse suppression logic. So this logic here, it will protect the circuit from double drive. So the both transistor will not switch at the same time. One will on, the second will off. If this is on, this will off. Remote on off, PS on command and latch function control remote protection input and power good signal. So it have an internal latch circuit that will provide 250 millisecond delay time in case of any failure. It will wait at least this time for under voltage, over voltage and PG signal, power good signal. It have a precision reference for 5 volt that is 4.9 to 5.1 volt. PG signal, it monitors the 5 volt supply and it provides a signal to microprocessor that the power supply is working in safe range. Here it is block diagram, here are the maximum voltage VCC 40 volt. So VCC1 and VC2 collector voltage can also be provided up to 40 volt. This one is KA3511BS. So it is 24 pin. If you are using KA3511, at that time the pin sequence will change. Just only it is 22 pin. Pin number 12 and 13 that are used in KA3511BS or DS that are not used here. So it is 22 pin and each pin is defined here then here is KA3511D so it is 24 pin so pin number 13 and 12 not connected the pin function will remain same no difference here is the definition for each pin at test condition its oscillator frequency that is 10 kilohertz what is the test condition VCC at 20 volt ambient temperature 25 degree and CT is 0 0.01 microfarad and RT 12k that is the test condition it is not a maximum frequency it is test condition frequency output section saturation voltage 1.1 volt when it will drive it will drop from emitter to collector 1.1 volt here is the selection chart for oscillation frequency RT timing resistor with capacitor when VCC is 15 volt so we can say it is working up to 400 kilohertz it is here is the timing sequence the dead time control that is here then it have our ramps RT and CT ramps that is oscillation frequency here is clock signal Q and Q bar that are the flip-flop circuits here and here is the output the output will switched by flip-flop circuit using this voltage that is the feedback voltage and the dead time control what is the dead time level 
at the startup level. When the output voltage will increase, this time the feedback is increasing. When the feedback will increase at that time, the duty cycle will decrease automatically. When the voltage are low, it will use the maximum switching time. As soon as the voltage will increase in the output at that time, the next switching cycle will automatically control by duty cycle through its duty cycle controlling circuit. Here is its sample circuit that few external component will connect it. Pin number one that is VCC pin, supply pin and this is the feedback circuit. 15K and 0.01 microfarad capacitor will connect it in series between two pins. And here 33K and 11K, 1.8K, 1K variable, it will connect it to 12 volts so it will give exactly 1.25 volt when the voltage will reach at its maximum level 12 volt and 5 volt remote time is on so it is 0.1 microfarad capacitor it is micron that is power on command from the computer that is remote on command then rt 12k 0.01 so this ic will switch at 10 10 kilohertz detector pin that is vcc detector pin it will connect it to detect any voltage through the, this VCC or we can use to connect 5 volt then TPG that is time to power good signal it is 2.2 microfarad capacitor and it will provide 250 millisecond delay time to give PG signal when it will detect 5 volt at that time after this time this capacitor will charge and at that time it will provide signal to the computer to microprocessor here is we reference external voltage and these are the de detect pins 12, 5 and 3.3 volts. If this pin is connected to ground, that time this protection pin will enable. As I discussed, sometime this pin is activated. When it is activated, you can ground it this pin directly, that time this protection will disable. Now the next question. If you want to control this IC to disable the supervisor pins for example you want to use it for 12 volt just only remove 5 volt and 3 volt and connect exact 3.3 volt by using external zener and 5 volt to use some zener so these two pin will get a exact level at that time you have to connect 5 volt the same 5 volt this one at this pin you have to disconnect the circuit and you have to provide 5 volt here at that time you will connect 12 volt at this pin or you can connect 12 volt external as well so all the protections will bypass using this method just only you have to give the regulated voltage here the same is this IC all the functions are same for both products just only the difference is the pin out KA3511BS that is 24 pin KA3511 simple it is 22 and KA3511DS are D that are 24 pins so just only KA3511 is 22 and other all package are 24 pin so friends, I hope so. This video is informative. If it is informative, hit the like button. If you have any question, let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.